Good afternoon, everyone. A link found between cold European winters and solar activity. The freezing of the Rhine is the largest factor, also including the great frost that devastated Europe in 1739 and 40. There's a certain trend that you'll see where it was an uptick in temperatures just like today, and then it crashes down. This follows the total solar irradiance. The only other two times this much of a descend is right into the grand solar minimum. Solar wind pressure decreasing. So we're looking for signs around Europe of an intensifying mini ice age. Snow falls across Europe. Norway blanketed. Sweden record cold. So cold in St. Petersburg, they're asking the citizens to feed the migrating birds. Over a foot of snow across the Alps. Tornadoes ripping across Europe as these warm and cold air masses collide. Water spouts, ferocious electrical storms, and it all fits the same pattern. And please join me on episode number 18 of Mini Ice Age Conversations, where I talk with Jim White from Food for Liberty about how to prepare for the upcoming Mini Ice Age mentally, physically, and spiritually. And please remember to press that subscribe button while you're watching the video. This link came out a little while back, finding a relationship between the cold winters and solar activity, especially focused on Europe. It all surrounds the sunspot numbers when we're in a 11 year normal cycle and the freezing of the Rhine River in Germany. Now they quote it as like an off on mechanism, just like it would be with your light switch in your home. There's either ice or not. And what they found between 1780 and 1963 that 10 of the 14 freezes occurred when it was at a regular 11 year solar minimum, but this would also include the Dalton minimum rolling over that time. So we just need to take a look at the total solar irradiance and we see that these steep drop offs precede entry into a grand solar minimum, which is happening now. And this fall off is the steepest ever recorded. Now jumping over to Canadian free press, the great frost that devastated Europe from Italy to Iceland. This occurred in 1739, 1740. Dysentery, smallpox, and typhus ravaging the weakened population due to lack of food production, low protein content. What this article pegs is the central England temperature rising steeply with a great fall off into the cold. Now we've seen this a couple other times, right in the Dalton minimum and right in the middle of the little ice age. Here we go again. Far right, 2000, we're following the pattern. Add into this the diminishing solar wind pressure, which is going to have an effect on our magnetosphere, which will allow our jet streams to undulate even wider than they are now, creating these very short wave, super deep cold patterns that will probably get down to 20 degrees north latitude. This is based on the Ulysses solar dynamic wind pressure measurements during its time in orbit. Add into this the dropping TSI. And all we're going to do is look for signs of unusual snowfalls and cold this late in the season. Germany, not the entire country, but areas that already have their crops out and flowered. Norway, blanketed. Sweden, blanketed and coldest temperatures ever recorded. And then other stations, coldest since 1944. More ice, it just continues. And then St. Petersburg is actually so cold and so below normal temperatures. These migratory birds are being stranded in the snowstorms and they're asking the citizens, if you find these ducks and birds, please feed them. This is at the apex of human caring. When you're asking your population to take care of migratory birds that are stranded, that's a level above. Also blanketing the Alps, at least a foot of snow over the Easter weekend. Images here from inthesnow.com. Lithuania blanketed as well. All through Eastern Europe, it seems like they had an enormous amount of snow. And then down in Italy, what looks like snow is hailstorms. And wow, the vortices coming across. Oh, did I forget to mention the late season snows in Spain? Yeah, that was two weeks ago. Unexpected. Barcelona, Madrid, snowstorms. Unbelievable. We look at today's temperatures on Null School and way down, getting toward Greece and Italy, I put a marker there, minus 7.1 Celsius. You make your own judgment. I'm presenting the information. It's up to you as an informed person to choose if this information is correct or incorrect, but it is your choice as an individual taking responsibility for your own actions and preparation if you think this is correct. 
and thank you for watching the video. Hope you got something out of it. I appreciate your time. I know your time's so valuable these days. There's so many distractions across our planet. And if you want to learn more about how our crops are going to be affected during the Grand Solar Minimum, jump over and talk to Bob Kudla at Trade Genius. He'll be happy to explain how they're trading and what they see these same repeating patterns, and not only in Europe, but across Central Asia, Asia, and North America.